Hello and welcome to LearnWire. I'm excited about this review today because this is something that's, again, relevant in my business. A lot of times I like to choose tools that I may need in my business as well, and then kind of try to do you guys a solid by basically doing a review on the product as well. In this case, Adilo, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this product for myself because I've been looking at a professional video hosting application. And I've been patiently waiting for the right one to arrive at AppSumo. I know there's been other ones in the past that were really, really good, but I missed them. I know that from a couple of years ago, I've only been doing this the last couple of years, doing AppSumo reviews. And so I know that there was some really good video hosting platforms from prior to the time I started doing the reviews. So that hasn't really been a whole lot of, of video hosting, especially a chance to get unlimited video hosting storage. And I think Adillo has that ability. They have a lot of other features as well. So we're going to purchase this. We're going to dive into the software as well. We're going to go ahead and scroll it, scroll down and check out the sales page and so forth, right? So this is Adillo. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I believe that's the way that Jay pronounced it in his video down here. So Adillo it is. Uh, we can go and check out their website real quick. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to go and just see, I like to look, it looks like they're fairly new, better, fast video editing, hosting for faster video hosting for businesses and creators. They actually have a bunch of different tools in here that I'm not even interested in. I'm literally only interested in the video hosting. I'm going to still continue to record my videos, most likely in other softwares. Also probably do the video editing. If I use Descript to, to do video editing and so forth. I also, the software that I record in, it's ScreenPal. It used to be Screencast-O-Matic. I do a lot of my screen recording in that software. And it also has really awesome editing features as well. So I really don't need a video editor, but I do need a video hosting. And I'll tell you more about why I need the video hosting. It's because when I create courses that I am going to sell like on wire plus or something like that i don't really have a good video hosting with screencast-o-matic it used to be called screencast-o-matic but it's actually a screen pal now they do have video hosting but the quality of the video is not good at all and so I've, i'm kind of being forced to find another solution where the videos are secure and high quality i also don't like the idea of using you know youtube where when people watch your videos it's going to show you know, for example, come back over here, it's going to show stuff like this, more videos to sh are going to show up and stuff. And it just, it's going to show the, the YouTube channel and so forth. So it's just not professional video hosting, what you would expect when you buy a course, right? So those are some reasons why I need the video hosting. And we'll come over here and look at Adillo trust pilot 4.8 rating. I don't know what that's based on, but that's good. A G2 leader in fall of 2021. So this company has been around for a while. I'm not sure why there's no, it's not, registering any visitors in here. So I'm actually going to copy that and go over to for fun. You guys know, I like to do this just to see, I mean, if the company has been around for a couple of years, there should be some traffic that comes up. We'll come over here. Yep. They're getting 37,000 total visitors per month. That's a very low bounce rate as well. So yeah, this is a very established business, been around for a couple of years and it looks like there is, they're experiencing some good growth as well. So, so that's really good. And they, it looks like they have got some, some awards on G2 and then Captura, um, 500 plus five star reviews on Captura. That's really cool as well. Okay. So the big, big thing is the premium video hosting, upload multiple videos and audios in a single click, just drag and drop your way to gigabytes of content to the cloud of minutes. That just sounds really cool. You guys know you, there's no such thing as cheap video hosting. I mean, you can go and look at video hosting and it is very expensive. And I want this crisp, clean audio and recording and host unlimited videos and audios. And, and they do have an inbuilt screen and camera recording software. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, exactly what I'm looking for, but I want this high quality. I like the play buttons right there. I'm excited to jump into this. Um, one click import videos from Vimeo, Wistia and Dropbox. So definitely I'm looking at this instead of uh, paying for Vimeo or Wistia. Wistia is going to be one of the most expensive. It's going to, it looks a lot like this. So that's really cool. And then even Vimeo, the problem with Vimeo is you can spend a couple hundred dollars a year and buy an annual subscription, but you're limited to about 130 videos that you can upload all at once. And I'm talking, I'm going to end up having more videos than that. And that's why I'm, I'm looking at getting this at Dillo. So let's scroll down. Just look like they have a lot of different things that you can do in the software that I'm not really, again, interested in, but you can add email sign up forms in the middle of videos, especially if you're hosting these 
on your own sites or membership sites and so forth, or if you have sales pages or anything like that, if you want to use this as a lead capture page and then put an email on the video at any point you want, there's some really cool stuff that you can do with these videos. So the fact that you have that option is really, really cool. They also have um, different, um, like an ex experimentation type wizard. And then they all to see, you can go with two different thumbnails and see which one converts the best. Of course, that's not going to be YouTube video thumbnails. It's going to be thumbnails on your own host hosted videos, like on your own site. Right. But a lot of good stuff. And then they're, they're very, it's a very secure platform as well. So they have some add-ons right here too. Wanted to mention this. Once you become a member, they have optional add-ons. If you need more bandwidth, $29 a month for extra bandwidth, optional add-on $15 per month for hundred minutes of AI captions. And then the optional add-on for $5 per month, hundred hundred anti-piracy DRM licenses as well. So a lot of good stuff there. So we have license tier one, you get hundred gigabytes of storage and 150 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. And then three channels, four users, 40 minutes of AI captions. They also have automatic AI captioning on your videos as well. So here's the big, big thing. I think this is what separates the plans is if you're a light user, you're really only planning on putting like 10 to 20 videos up, then you probably could get away with license tier one. But if you're someone like me that, you know, you, you put out a product and it's a course and it might end up being like 30 videos, HD videos, you're going to be taking up a lot of space, a lot of storage space, right? So you would eat into this. It's not so much about the bandwidth. I'm not too worried about bandwidth. I mean, I'm not going to have this massive influx of 20,000 people watching my videos over the weekend. It's just not going to happen. So bandwidth isn't going to be too much of a problem. The problem is the storage, right? Because these HD videos really start adding up as far as the amount of space that they take 150 megabytes between 100 and 150 megabytes for a 10 to 20 minute video that's in hd um, and so it really starts adding up and you'll start eating away at those gigabytes of storage for sure i know that i've you know overloaded my computers i mean like the current machine i have right now is like two terabytes of space and i had to delete a lot of videos that i record because these recording these videos take up a lot of storage so you can imagine what what it would happen if i ended up having like 10 or 20 courses um, and I, that's a little bit more of my style, especially if it's something that I think down the road, I just, I'm going to need the space. I'm willing to put that investment into software when I know that when it's a really a, a good deal. So when I look at the license tiers and the pricing, right, you've got license tier three, and I just wouldn't want to spend $200 and not get unlimited storage right here, 500 gigabytes of storage. I think that I actually would, I would you need more than the 500 gigabytes of storage. And so when you move up to tier four, I think that this is going to be the best overall plan because I can not imagine, I did some calculations before and I just don't, I can't see in any world where I would need 750 gigabytes or, or more of bandwidth for people. This is basically how many people can watch your videos at the same time versus the unlimited storage is the biggest thing for me, right? I'm not, I don't really need the, the AI captions is great, but, but you know, it's only 160 minutes and then 10 domains. You have different, you can hook your domains up. I'm not really interested in that stuff as well. If we go into tier five and look at that pricing, you're going to get unlimited video channels, users, everything. It's really decked out. And then you're going to have 1.2 terabytes of bandwidth. I mean, I think you would have to have a hundred thousand people watching your, your videos over the weekend. Uh, on, you know, and it, I just, that's, that's going to be really hard to accomplish. And so the, that's why when I look at this, I don't really want to spend $429, but am I willing to put in the $339 and get unlimited storage space? I think so. So this is the one I'm going to be buying. This is one of those ones that I'll probably just go and make the purchase of the license tier four without even doing the review because I need the high quality storage. Of course, if it's just awful, once I get into the review, then I'll go ahead and get a refund, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase license tier four and we'll go check out the software before we go and purchase that we can go and look and read at some of the stuff that the founder says in here we can also click on the read more and just see all the different things that they have over here we of course can read reviews as well i like to click on the roadmap see what's going on with the roadmap over here we've got the chrome video recording plugin whoa that's cool i like that user uh, under consideration we're considering adding a chrome video recording this plugin would allow you to record your mic and screen and webcam both with and creating videos with ease will work on Chrome browsers. Every video recorded is automatically uploaded to your Adobe account. Unlike the desktop video recorder, the Chrome plugin won't feature basic editing. So that's kind of cool. It's cool to have these different options. 
Pabli and Integra Mat support keyboard shortcuts for video player controls reference. So we've got planned over here, import from Facebook, Instagram. So importing videos that are already on other places. That's cool. Team builder tools. Let's see new video elements, video ratings, video feedback in video response, really good stuff there. And we have in progress over here, desktop video recording app right here. So it looks like they are going to make more of a full blown recording suite, which I, I'm, I would be very interested in that import from YouTube. So import your, your videos. If you want to get them off of YouTube and put them on a Dillo, you know, then that would be a great uh, option right there. So they really, really looks like they have a lot of things planned and they have launched a bunch of stuff right here as well. It looks like there is a WordPress plugin. There is a lot of stuff in here. So good stuff. Roadmap looks good and checks out. Um, I'm gonna go look at some reviews real quick. Yes, this is going to be a long introduction. We're kind of doing a deep dive in here. I'm excited, but I want to make sure to do it justice before we just dive in right to the software. If you want the, again, I'll just mention, if you guys want the cookie cutter a review where it's at eight to 10 minutes, I just show you what the software does and then tell you to go to go buy it from my affiliate link. Then this is just not the channel for you, or this is not the review style for you. But if you want more of a podcast, deep dive review, unbiased review into these softwares, then this is definitely the channel for you. Okay. And I've pulled my audience several times. They, at the end of the day, most people that watch LearnWire do like the long form deep dives like this. So I'm going to continue doing what I do. All right. So again, and then I don't think, I, I don't know if I said anything about the drawing or giveaway. I keep forgetting to do that now, but if you guys made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that like button and make sure that you are subscribed to LearnWire. And then most importantly, make sure that you leave a thoughtful comment below. And this is going to put you in the drawing and running to win this week's giveaway, which is Copify version two. And so on Monday, we will be doing another drawing and someone, and from any of the videos this week will win a free piece of software on AppSumo. Super, super cool stuff. So, all right. So video platform alternative to YouTube and Vimeo, we got five stars, five stars, simply great five stars. So they've got some really good reviews. Go back up to the top. They have almost a thousand reviews. So this is definitely a software worth picking up as far as video hosting, especially if you live online like me and everything is video for your business, this is probably going to be worth picking up. It's also worth noting that this, I, while this is their second, probably their second or third time on the site and who knows, they may come back to AppSumo, but you never know. It's always could be their last time as well, but the deal ends in eight days. So you want, by the time you see this video, you're only going to have a few days to be able to pick this up. So, all right. So I'm going to go and purchase my license tier four at $339. I'm going to buy now and we'll be back in just a minute. All right. So I've gone through, I've signed up, I purchased and kind of nice when you are a pro member of AppSumo, you know, it starts stacking up when you get that extra 10% off. So instead of paying like 339, I paid like 305. So not bad You get a pretty good deal discount, especially on those top tier products. And so right over here, it says to import videos and audios, we can import from Vimeo, Wistia, Drive or Dropbox, or we can just grab one from our computer. So I'm going to go browse. And for fun, we're just going to grab this video that I uploaded yesterday, the niche site case study for fun. This is 102 megabytes and it's going to upload. So we're going to upload this one and let's see how fast it is. So it looks like it's extremely fast at uploading a hundred megabyte video. Congrats. Your upload is complete. We'll now begin encoding your media for to be adaptive buffer free web streaming. Continue to dashboard right here. Now I don't think that this automatically adds the codes to it because you have to tell it if you want it to do, if you want it to do the transcribing, right? I think we have to choose that. Okay. So we have different options over here. We have analytics and settings and contacts channels, just all kinds of stuff in here, a lot to get into, but this is what a video is going to look like. Watch quick tutorials. So let's go and check this out real quick. So it says zero out of eight completed. So create at least two projects, upload files, for two projects, build a team, record your video, publish videos to your channel, create a playlist and, and so forth. And it looks like they have a bunch of different knowledge base stuff right there as well. It looks like it's working on this right here. So we'll go back and check out some of the other tools and then we'll come back to this. Let's click on the start recording button. We can select a project right here. We can record the screen. It looks like you can, I'm not going to turn this on, but you can record the camera. 
just by toggling that on. And then you're going to need to record your mic right there as well. So then once we do that, we can push the start recording right here. This app wants to read your screen. Yes, allow. Um, and then you're going to be able to switch kind of like what we're used to entire screen, Chrome tab can go. I'm just going to select the window right there and do share, allow microphone. And then right here, you would just push to start recording. It looks like it's in the style of a lot of the recorders that we see. So we can come over here and we'll just go and, well, I don't know. Let's just go and visit my, one of my new sites from the case study, just so we can kind of record and see what this looks like. We'll kind of go and check out some stuff on the website and there you go. And then when we're done, we can say stop sharing. It looks like it's in the style of all right. So this is what it's going to look like after you record a video, you can delete the video, you can download the recording onto your, your computer or desktop. We can publish the recording. We can trim. So if we click the trim button, let's see how we do the trim. Well, I'm not really seeing how that it, maybe that's not working because I'm recording the screen with another recording software and it's just kind of having a hard time right now, but certainly this is what it looks like. And there you go. And then when we're done, we can say stop share. And then I'm just going to say publish recording real quick. So we put publish the recording upload in progress. That was very fast. And then you're going to actually have a link to this that you can copy. All right. So here is, I believe where that recording is. You just click on projects up here and we can click on that. And then you're going to see the different, yeah, the different videos that we have and the size of them right here. And then these three dots over here, we have options. We can do all kinds of different things inside of there on the different videos. You can also click inside to open up that project or that video. You can see how many views you've gotten, impressions, watch time, all that stuff is measured inside of Adillo on each video, which is super cool. You can actually customize your video. You can inter add interactions. You can do pixel retargeting from like Facebook and so forth. You have your video analytics content scheduler. So if you have set channels on Adillo and you have people that have access to them, then you can also set scheduled videos ahead of time. So there is a lot that you can do, which I'm not even planning on using half of the tools in here. I just needed a professional video hosting, but it certainly is awesome to see that you have so many different things that you can actually do in here. We'll start with a customizer. Okay. So we're back. The video is done processing. It took a, a couple minutes. But now we can go in here and start checking some things out. So the appearance, let's see how we change the appearance. Let's see. I think you can go over here and maybe into custom. And if you wanted to change the player color, you can choose any color that you want. Pretty cool stuff. Um, you can set branding color. You can actually set up your branding colors and then just click that on and it will just automatically default to the, your brand's colors. That's cool. So we'll just push save right there for now. Let's go click on thumbnail. We can do an image. We can do an animated GIF file, real bursts, preview reel. Let's see. It looks like it's in the style of a lot. Of so this is really neat. Look at the player, how we see. Um, I'm going to turn the volume down. Let's see what options we have. So I want them to be able to click the settings over here. I'm not seeing the option to do that. So that might be something that I need to go it looks into like it's in the settings. style of a lot to figure that part out because I do want people to be able to watch it on, you know, 1.5 speed and so forth, but we can change the image out. If we want, we have controls. Maybe this is it can custom. This is where you can do that. So we have, if you want them to be able to share, we don't want that. We want the volume skip and rewind, but we do want playback speed. And this is where you can do that. And then I also think that the quality also, I think that they should be able to choose the quality of their video as well, I think. And then now we can go and like see what that looks like. A lot of the record. So now they can click on the gear box over here and they're going to get playback speed normal. And they got 1.5 and two. I really like it when there's a 1.75. I think that is, I love watching videos on 1.75, but I, it, you know, I've seen even worse than I've seen. Like, I like that they have the two right there and the 1.5. So I've definitely not, not like a make or break issue for me. I wish that they had 1.5 in here though, but now we can also choose for 80, 1080p, the 1440p. 
um, and so forth. So I want to actually see about the 1440. This does look pretty cr crisp. If we look in here, the recording tool that we used looks like it's recording a pretty high quality. So I'm pretty happy with the recording feature and just the way that the video looks. So there's a lot of other things we can do. We can add chapters, add chapters in here, what you can title the chapter. So if we push play and we go to a certain spot, so let's see right here, we have it actually to where they can't, they can't fast forward. And if someone's paying for a course, then I want them to be able to do whatever they want. And so what we would want to do is come back over to customize and controls. And we would want to select this skip and rewind, I believe button. And then when we push play right here, and we turn that volume back off, someone should be able to Yeah, look at that, they're able to skip forward to wherever they want. I think that's super cool. Um, so let's just say that you're right here at 14, right? seconds and you wanted to go over to chapters for example you could title this you know if that's 14 uh, 14 seconds in and it will you know you could just put test right there and then you've just added that chapter as well which is cool i'm just going to push save and then anything else subtitles right over here you can generate subtitles select the correct language and we'll go english and generate subtitles it's going to go out and generate the subtitles. It says it's generating right there. We'll come back and we'll go and check out the final video. There's the chapters over here. So you can actually click on that and then it's going to have the chapters right over here. So this is just gets better and better as you learn how to use it. I really think that's really cool. That's really handy to have that chapters feature if you wanted to really dive in and help. I mean, that's going to take extra time in your recording. So if you were going to record 20 videos for a course and so forth to add in chapters and really, I mean, it's going to, it's going to double the amount of time that it's going to take to create each video. So it's not really my style. It just takes a lot of time. Um, but if you have a VA that can come in and, and do all that stuff, that would be great as well. Let's go back over there. Are we able to, um, I'm going to have to go and open up app sumo again and see if I can go and pick up. I don't know what it said about team members. I wanted to go and double check that. So on the tier three, I have 10 users. I can actually go and set up more users, which is super cool. I don't know where I do that at, but we just went through all the customization and that's just one major feature right there, but then you have all the interaction tools, right? So before, during, and after, let's just say before the video, we want to do something. We want to email capture right now and we want to, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like, right? We could actually add this in right here. Where is the email section where, you know, when they email us, I wonder, you know, where that email goes, um, if they store the information in here or not, but this is just super, super cool that you have that on there. And then they can actually, it just gives them an opportunity to give you their email address. And then they just push the play button. Super cool stuff. Video, video analytics, advanced, advanced embed analytics or view full analytics. You can click on that as well. And it's going to get all these different stats you can get as intricate as you want right here looks like super cool stuff so once you get a bunch of videos hosted on adillo you can actually come in here and start looking at like well how many views am i getting per day and and the engagement and so forth so super cool you can also look by projects so if you actually come in here and you make each course a project then that's when you can really narrow down and that's probably what you'd want to do is separate everything by a new project and it doesn't look like you have any limit on projects super cool stuff I just wanted to see how we add people to our, this is where I think that they actually do will collect your email leads and you can export these contacts right here and then go put them into an auto responder. That's really cool. I'm going to go to settings and here's your settings, your API, all kinds of good stuff. Here's your subscription and billing. It tells me I'm on license tier four, what I paid, and it tells you all the different things right here. We have unlimited storage. It tells you what you're, we're at one gigabyte or less as what we've used. And then here's where you'd go in and add a user, push create user. You'd go and give the email address. It's going to invite them. And then you, I can add up to nine more people on my team 
really good stuff. So there's just a lot that you can do inside this. This is definitely one of those, you can tell it's a high class software that's here to stay. That's going to be around for a really long time. I've already been around for a couple of years, but you can tell that they're going to be around for a long time. They have a chat over here for help as well. There's a lot that I didn't cover. We're already at a 30 minute video. And so I'm going to have to call it quits right here, but certainly there are a lot more things you can really dive into and use this to its full extent. I'm going to be just barely topping the surface by literally just going over to projects and hosting courses over here and then adding these videos. And that's what the last thing I wanted to show you, which is going in. And this is what it would look like if we grabbed one of these videos right here. So for whatever reason, I don't know why this one ends up ended up being 796 megabytes because it's not a 796 megabyte. This is something that I would need to probably ask why this is not a hundred megabytes and it's it's now eight times larger than the size file size like this right here is a 25 second video why is it 40 megabytes so the so this is a little bit kind of suspect to, to me as far as how what they're saying the size of those videos are that part is crazy but i bought the unlimited storage space so it's not going to be a problem for mine but for people that got the one, two or three licensed here, this could end up being a problem. So I would want to reach out to support to see why these, you know, quadrupled inside, or this one looks like it almost eight times larger than what it should, should be. But certainly a couple of things you're going to probably want to do. I'm thinking that I'm wondering if we can also have automatic global settings on every video, which would be nice because, you know, when we push play on this, they're not going to have the option to click on the gearbox. And I know how frustrating that is when you do see, see the box right there when you're watching a video and you can't do anything. So I would definitely want to, you know, have that ability every time, but certainly if we click on the share and embed, then this is when you're going to be able to select responsive, fixed iframe, JavaScript, SEO metadata, all kinds of good stuff. We can just copy this and embed it into our site or any site. Also, we can go and grab the quick link and just click on that. And then it's going to open up right away as well. All right. Welcome back to learn wire. And I'm not really sure, like, is the, I think it's still processing because our AI niche it's definitely blurry. Okay. So it's not blurry anymore. Okay. So that looks good. It just took a minute for it to start to load or whatever, but certainly that looks good as well. It's one of the videos you you guys have probably been waiting for and then okay perfect so that concludes my review long in-depth review i think i'm pretty happy that i picked this up i'm gonna have to fool around with it add some videos to it and so forth i'll keep you guys posted if anything comes up on the software anything that i don't like or anything like that but so far i think that this is going to be a killer software and i'm glad that i picked up license tier three so i get that unlimited storage all right so this has been a review of adillo you want to go if you need video hosting and you need tools like this you want to go pick yours up before it the deal expires in eight days all right see you next see you in the next video